commencing with Councillor Sophie Galbally. Councillor Andrew Conlon. Councillor Jeff Goff. Councillor Anna Chen. Councillor Mike Zafiropoulos. Councillor Michelle Kleinert. Councillor Paul McLeish. And Councillor Paula Piccinini. Councillors, can I please have a nomination for a temporary chairperson? Mr CEO, I, I nominate Andrew Conlon, uh, the chairperson. Can I please have a seconder for that? That will be myself. There's only one nomination, so Councillor Conlon has been appointed as temporary chairperson for the annual meeting. Thanks, Andrew. If everyone could please stand for the opening prayer. Almighty God, we pray for your blessing upon this council. Help and prosper its work for the advancement and benefit of its people, so that peace and happiness, unity and justice may be established amongst us all. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Manningham City Council acknowledges the Wurundjeri people as the traditional custodians of the land we now know as Manningham. We pay our respects to the Wurundjeri elders, past and present, and value the ongoing contribution to the cultural heritage of Manningham. Manningham Council would also like to acknowledge the contribution made to Manningham over the years by people from diverse backgrounds <coughs> and cultures. I'd like to welcome all members of the public as well as those people joining us via Facebook Live at this special annual meeting of council being held for the purpose of electing the mayor and deputy mayor for the next 12 months. I'd like to recognise and welcome the Honourable Ryan Smith, member for Warrandyte. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, former Mayor Bron Kitchingman and former councillor Stephen Main. Apologies, we have an apology, I understand, Are there, is there an apology? Yeah, we've received an apology from Councillor Dot Haynes for tonight's meeting. Thank you, Andrew. Well, as outgoing Mayor, I will address the meeting. How do I stand for that? What do I do? Thanks. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff knows all the traditions. Thank you, Paul. So first, I'd really like to thank my amazing wife uh, and Mayoress, Vicky, for your unwavering love and support over the last 12 months and for our 30 years of marriage. So thank you, Vicky. Can I also thank our children for uh, your support and sacrifices over the last year in my role as Mayor. It's been a great honour to serve the community and my fellow councillors as Mayor. We've had some, made some really positive decisions over the last year as a result of all the councillors working as a team with the organisation. So I'd like to thank my fellow councillors for their support of our agreed agenda and our agreed values. Councillor Kleiner, thank you for serving as Deputy Mayor and filling in for me on several occasions. Councillor Zafiropoulos, can I acknowledge your passion for the CALD community and for always pursuing excellence. Councillor Chen, thank you for your incredible commitment in attending community events. I think you went to more than I did. <laughs> Councillor Goff, can I acknowledge your long, long, long corporate memory, which has been a great benefit to us in making decisions. <coughs> Councillor Haynes is not here, but I would, I would like to just acknowledge Councillor Haynes' commitment to bringing people together within the community and linking up different communities. Councillor McLeish, can I acknowledge your incredible understanding of the planning scheme? I'm sure you'd get a job here in the planning department if you wanted. <laughs> Councillor Piccinini, can I acknowledge your focus on the strategic role of Council and Councillor Galbally? Thank you for always being willing to offer an alternate view. 
I'd also like to acknowledge the whole of the organisation for their commitment to it, the Council's agenda and our values. In particular, I'd like to thank our very capable CEOs. We've had two this year. So Warwick Wynn, if you're watching, thank you, Warwick. And of course, now, Andrew Day. I'd also like to acknowledge the fantastic support staff of Courtney, Stacey and Jody. Stacey here? No. Hi, Stacey. And our executive team of Jill, Lee, Phil and Angelo. <coughs> I could go on, and I will, because this is my last bit of speech. <laughs> so I'd also like to thank Lee Robson and her team for supporting the Merrill Fireball, Winning Ways Forum and many other events over the year. In particular, I would like to acknowledge Jenny Horvath for her commitment and event management skills that make so many of our events a success, including the many citizenship ceremonies, civic awards, the seniors lunch, the fireball, etc., etc. I'd also like to thank Sarah, Marcel, John and Ben for their outstanding contribution to the mayoral fireball this year. As I've said many times over the year in speeches, Manningham is the best city within the most livable city of the world. After 12 months as, as mayor, I've come to the conclusion that, th that this is the best place to live in because of the people in it. And in particular, the thousands of volunteers across Manningham that make our community great. So rather than bore you with my personal achievements, let me talk about the unsung heroes. On behalf of the Manningham community, I'd like to acknowledge and thank the following people and organisations that I've had the great pleasure and honour of meeting with <coughs> in my role as Mayor. All the Rotary groups and Lions Clubs of Manningham. The, these groups are filled with uh, incredibly selfless, talented, community-minded people. The committee members from the wide range of seniors groups, including the Women's Friendship Group, the Chinese Seniors, the Macedonian Seniors and the Greek Seniors Clubs. <coughs> Hundreds of volunteers that serve in the SES and, of course, the CFA every day. The amazing, passionate and selfless Fireball Committee, and in particular, Dee, Dinah, Michelle and Jamie. I could go on, and I will, because there's no eggs to throw at me in this room. <laughs> there is the Interfaith Committee, the Interchurch Committee, the RSL Committees, the Manningham Business Network Committee, the committee members of countless sporting clubs across Manningham, the Manningham Band, the CWA, the Scout Groups, the volunteer board members and workers that tirelessly work for a number of our community service partners such as Doncare, Manicare, YMCA, Vantage Point and others. <coughs> as Mayor, I've had the privilege of working with boards of both the Warrandyte Community Bank in regards to the Merrill Fireball and the Doncaster Templestowe Community Bank Board in regard to our recent Winning Ways Sports Clubs Forum. While they are all volunteers, they are outstanding in terms of their governance and commitment to the community. So thank you, Ian, Jim, Jeff, Aaron, Cliff and Lance and your fellow board members. The Bendigo Bank is the best social enterprise in Manningham and probably Australia. I could go on, but let me finish by encouraging my fellow councillors, the next mayor and the organisation to be positive about the future and to continue to adopt our agreed values as we move towards being the best council in Victoria for the good of the Manningham community. <coughs> whatever, you're not me at the moment, actually. And I just learned that uh, at six o'clock this morning, you, uh, you didn't relinquish that position. But listen, on behalf of the Heidi Ward councillors, I want to congratulate you on a fantastic year that we've had in Manningham. Uh, under your leadership, we have really combined and we've worked hard to get a lot of things done in our city. And I think that uh, the community understand that. And over the time, uh, we have seen the growth in you of your understanding of local government, which is a really complex organisation. And uh, it does take a while to get understand all the levers and how things are done and all the rest to put on the best image and what we can do in Manningham. And you have done that. You've learnt. You've been committed. And I think all of, all of the councillors are really grateful of your commitment that you put into that job 
over the year, and it was obvious and understandable for us all. Uh, one, of the, one of the lovely things, I think, in your mayoral year is not about what you did or opened or whatever, because all of those things were planned by councils of years prior to that. But I think, in many ways, of what might have been you thought was one of the hardest things to do, and, and chairing meetings and doing things like that, was really in the ability to chair meetings amongst councillors and officers here to maintain a wonderful level of ease of everybody being able to speak and say what they wanted and to have their turn in it. And I think that was a very, very important element so that uh, it created a mood of comradeship and, and order in the organisation and people had a chance. And your ability to do that and be very calm I, I really think is one of your strengths. So congratulations on, on that strength and you could see that that working forward. Um, yes, there were a lot of fun activities and a lot of good things that had been done over the time and we're really grateful for that. But actually, I have to say, uh, one of the best things that I ever have attended here was uh, in the last week of, of, of this particular mayoralty, uh, was the Fireball, because it was an absolutely fantastic occasion and the feeling in the room was wonderful and it was, it was the best, uh, I haven't been to one where it, it's been as good as it was that last time. So thank you very much for your hard work and, and to your wife, Vicky, and family, thank you. Uh, you he's been, uh, he, he has been going to things in Manningham. He hasn't been running off anywhere. So uh, look, uh, it's, it's been great. So thanks a lot for, for allowing uh, <coughs> Andrew to do that. But Andrew, a wonderful year. And uh, you know, we'd like to see to continue on with the input there in throughout this year and next year and the year after and whatever. So congratulations and well done. Uh, on behalf of the Kunan councillors, um, I have the privilege to say a few words, and they are words which uh, are not planned. I, I just told a few minutes ago to say a few things, but it's so easy to speak about you, Andrew. So I am quite comfortable to say a few words about uh, your one year as a, as a mayor. Many of us would think that the role of uh, uh, mayorship is to all about privilege and prestige and honour and all that sort of stuff. However, uh, having done that sort of thing some 20 years ago, I do know that it takes uh, a lot of hard work. It's uh, a challenging job. It requires a lot of sacrifices, and in your case, at least nine sacrifices. <laughs> uh, and therefore, uh, I am very uh, pleased to be uh, commending all the good things you've done for us. You managed to unite council, which is a very important thing. You managed to take advantage of the individual aspirations that councillors had, the concerns we had, the wishes we had, and you managed to meet with us uh, individually and try to find out what it is that we would like to achieve and, uh, in, in our year. Um, you've done all this with an, an amazing humility. Um, you've been extremely modest, you led from behind, and uh, I think this is something that future mayors uh, should really uh, emulate as much as possible. Um, look, uh, I can say a lot of things about your achievements. You've mentioned some of them. The fact that you uh, looked at every individual councillor and identified their particular uh, strengths and uh, uh, the way they would like to perform their role indicates that you care. The fact that you identified community groups and organisations that played a role indicates your commitment to, to the community. So overall, 10 out of 10, Andrew, from me, and I'm sure my colleagues uh, share that. Um, 
The other thing you've done well was, and, and that is vitally important for the success of Mayor, but also the success of Council, is that you collaborated in a very clever and, and smart way with the administration, the former CEO, the current CEO, and ensured that Council's wishes were shared and understood by the administration. It's something that uh, we all want. Look, I'm trying very hard. Talking before, uh, before we came in, I asked you, what can I say about you? And said, find something to criticize me with. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been trying to find something to, to be critical of you, and I honestly can't do it. However, one of the, <laughs> <laughs> one of the things that some uh, residents at Manningham complain about is the rapid growth of the city. And I'm not sure how this is going to be taken, but you and Vicky definitely contributed <laughs> to that problem. <laughs> so if that can be taken as a criticism, there it is. <laughs> Congratulations, and uh, I'm sure the, uh, the person who will replace you will, would have learned from your paradigm and will follow in a similar way. Thank you, Andrew. Mr. Mayor, for, you'll get that title from me in perpetuity, I have to tell you. Um, one of the things that struck me first about your uh, aspiration to be Mayor was that uh, when you spoke to us as councillors, you said you wanted to, us to aspire to live the values of the council and you enunciated those values. And it's been a great pleasure to learn so much about you in seeing you in this role because you live those values. Every day in doing the job, you brought those values to bear, you coached us in those values, you encouraged all of us to aspire to those <coughs> values. And I think that that quiet, and the quiet diplomacy with which you have done this uh, has been a very effective me mechanism for continue, us continuing as a United Council. Um, it's, it's a challenge to get, a, a, to get nine strangers to work together and you have handled that with um, good humour, with um, humility as was said, um, and living those values and that has encouraged us to work with you. So um, it's great to see someone who bring, bringing their personal values to the table and living them at council, and that inspires us to all work together very effectively. And I know f as a ward councillor in Mullum Mullum with yourself and with Sophie, it's been a great pleasure to be a united team, to be able to um, have constructive discussions about the challenges in our particular ward and to, ha and to then see those challenges work through in a, in a collegiate way. And um, I'm looking forward to working with you over the next two years uh, within council to continue that. And I know that um, the first two years of cooperative work in this council are going to be continued in the next two years, thanks in no small part to the quiet diplomacy um, and musical talent that you brought to the table. Um, I think we should, uh, maybe later on we can get a duet from the two former mayors. Um, I won't be joining in, I can assure you. Um, I'm banned from singing in public by my wife, and that includes in the car. So um, I'm looking forward to perhaps getting a chance to hear you, because I wasn't able to be at the fireball, but it's a great recognition of your contribution and passion around the fire services to have raised over $80,000 towards the, um, the CFA in our ward, um, that will go down in... It's a long-term contribution that just can't be underestimated. I know the fire services are very grateful to uh, you having that idea and delivering on it uh, with a great support from that community. Uh, it was a great pleasure to see you even opening some of those major um, facilities in Manningham, seeing the stadium open, seeing the Mullum Mullum Trail open by a Mullum Mullum Council. It was a fantastic thing. Um, it was a decision of the whole council to do those things, but it was 
I think quite fitting that a Mullum Mullum councillor in you living those values and delivering those uh, facilities to the community, fantastic thing. Finally, thank you to Vicky and the family. It's an incredible um, ask of a family to, to lose a partner for a year into the mayoralty, coming and going at all hours of days and night. And uh, you've supported him all the way through this. We very much thank you. Uh, and good luck with a, a quiet year in front of you, I hope. Thank you. Um, it's my um, great pleasure, actually, on behalf of the administration to, to thank you, um, Councillor, for your efforts this year as Mayor. Um, obviously, the councillors have, um, have spoken about your contribution to the community, but from an administrative perspective, um, you've given us you know, heart, again, in terms of local government and the influence that local government can have, not just on their local community, but also in terms of, as the councillors have said, your personal style. We've seen some interesting political leadership styles emerge over the last 12 months or so internationally and, and nationally. And um, you've given us heart that you can be a decisive leader, you can deliver things, and at the same time you can be caring and, uh, and considerate um, and consultative. So congratulations to you. Um, it's been a pleasure. And from a personal perspective, I'd like to thank you for helping me with my transition to, to Manningham. Well, thanks very much. Uh, that's very humbling, and I appreciate those work, kind words. So, anyway, moving on. So we're going to now um, call. I'll call for nominations for the position of mayor for the 2018-19 year. Do I have a nominee? Uh, I'd like to nominate Councillor Paula Piccinini, please. Thank you, Councillor Galvoy. Do I have no. a seconder? I'll second that. Thank you, Councillor Kleinert. Are there any other, Are there any other nominations? There being no further nominations, it is my great pleasure to declare Councillor Piccinini duly elected as the Mayor for 2018. <laughs> Thank you. A bit different from Barrister's Rose. Still uncomfortable, but I'll get used to it. Okay. Um, uh, the 28th of August 2004 is a date fixed um, and etched firmly in my memory. It's the date that my husband and I um, settled uh, on our home in Templestow and moved in. Our son, Philip, was born three weeks later. Um, he's lived in the same house all his life, in fact, in the same bedroom. Uh, our daughters, Laura and Alice, were very young when we settled into Manningham. They were three and 21 months. Um, they've got very little memory of living anywhere else. Um, uh, mostly their memory is living here in Manningham. We purchased a home which is 500 metres from my husband's parents, David and Diana Main. They purchased their home in 1969, 49 years ago. My husband moved to Manningham at the age of five months. He's lived here most of his life. Um, he, um, when he goes to the local village, he bumps into his old neighbours and his grade two primary school teacher. Diana Main, who's here tonight, is a piano teacher in Manningham for the last 40 years, and she still performs over 100 musical gigs per year. I love it that our children are growing up in the rolling hills, the green open spaces and the fresh air of Manningham. My daughter Laura commented the other day that um, there was always at least three or four surnames uh, in her class at primary school starting with the letter Z. 
She still finds it unsettling if she's in a class and the last surname on the class roll starts with a W. For her world to seem balanced, there must be at least three or four Greek kids in the class. And we have a Z on council too, don't we, Councillor Zaphiropoulos? Our community is rich in cultural diversity. There's a rich mix of first and generation Greeks, Italians and Chinese. At my children's primary school, there was at least one or two Persian children in every classroom. We have the largest Persian community in Victoria. We also have a significant South African and Indian community. At my children's school, there, were also, there was also the Shivers family, descendants of John and Mary Shivers, who came to Manningham in 1840. Roots run deep in Manningham. At our Anzac and Remembrance Day ceremonies, you will find descendants laying wreaths in honour of their loved ones who passed away in the First and Second World War. They are descendants of our early settlers, the Orchardist families. There are families in Manningham that have been here for more than 100 years. The Wurundjeri people farmed these lands for tens of thousands of years. And why wouldn't they? The lands along our, our parts of the Yarra River in Manningham are magical. The tribes of the Coolum Nation used to meet at Bullen Bullen Reserve and their last corroboree took place at, Bound, at Pound Bend. Their trails that they walked on along for thousands of years that are referred to as song lines form the basis of Templestowe Road, Manningham Road and Tyndall's Road, to name a few. When we travel along these roads, we follow their trails. <coughs> Roots run deep in Manningham and it has a soul. It has a culture. It has a culture of families, clubs, organised sport and healthy living. It isn't uncommon in Manningham to see three generations of the one family on a Saturday morning in one of our stadiums or at the playing fields. As councillors collectively, we are passionate about retaining our identity, our culture, our history and our natural landscapes. It's referenced in every important decision that we make. We're facing a time of significant change in Manningham. In local council speak, we are a transforming municipality. With state-imposed high-density living, we're seeing more townhouses, apartments and high-rises. With higher density comes issues of congestion, parking, inadequate public transport, uh, competition for services, greater focus on our public open space. Dealing with change while retaining our identity, our culture, our soul, our natural features and our sense of community is a constant dilemma that as councillors we face as a team. So I'd like to thank the team. I'd like to thank my fellow councillors for showing faith in me to lead our council for the following year. In particular, I thank Councillor Andrew Conlon for his excellent leadership and service as mayor in the previous year. You set a high bar to follow. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my husband. Um, there's a saying that if you can't see it, you can't do it. And uh, Stephen was a councillor at Manningham in the 2008-12 term, followed by a term as councillor in the city of, for the city of Melbourne. And I did see Stephen perform this role and this made it possible for me to consider it. So thank you, Stephen, because without you, I wouldn't be here. I wish to thank our three children for their great support and I'm sure that you will continue to be supportive. Um, I particularly would like to thank my family and my friends that are here tonight. Um, thank you so much for coming here on such short notice. Um, and um, you enhance the quality of my life. So thank you so much for being here. Um, I'd like to thank my dad, who's uh, watching on Facebook, and my sister, who's in Sydney. Um, I look forward to working with you, Andrew, as our new CEO, who's already made excellent relationships with each councillor. Um, and I look forward to getting out and about and meeting all those volunteer organisations, Andrew, that you so tirelessly visited and worked with this year. Um, it's been an, it, 
it is an absolute honour and a privilege to be elected Mayor of Marvellous Manningham. And um, I thank you again, my colleagues, for your support. Madam Mayor, how does that sound? Strange. Yeah. You'll get used to it very quickly. Okay. So, Madam Mayor, on behalf of your fellow ward councillors, uh, Councillor Goff and myself, uh, we welcome you to the, the fold of, of leading Manningham into the next year. Uh, you're a, an outstanding woman. Your accomplishments uh, are impressive. Uh, you've been on multiple boards and, and, and done a very, very stellar job, so my research shows. You are found to be ethical. We found you to be extremely strategic. Uh, you're kind and you are forgiving. And they're beautiful qualities that Manningham, the community, uh, holds dear to them. It is a beautiful community. We know that you'll serve the community well. You're a, a great... Uh, a colleague of ours and very well respected around the table. So uh, it is with, I know it's been very long and the, the speeches have been very long, I'm keeping mine 25 words or less, uh, but you're, you're very capable of taking on the next 12 months. We're proud of you and together we, we stand to um, commit to respecting and supporting you in all ways to bring about success in the coming year. Your success is Manningham's success to lead us to the next year. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Madam Mayor, I'm renowned for short speeches. And uh, on behalf of Corner War councillors, I congratulate you for your election as our new mayor. Madam Mayor, you are very talented and well-liked by everyone in the chamber. I believe that we will continue to have a good working relationship and together I believe we can deliver to make our Manningham great and greater. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Once again, congratulations. Yes, it's just been noted that it's the women that are um, welcoming you. Fantastic. On council. <laughs> I, that was quite accidental, everybody. <laughs> um, yes, I'd, I'd like to say exactly what everyone else is saying. Um, welcome and thank you for um, accepting the role as mayor for us. I think we're up for a great new year. Um, that was a fantastic and eloquent speech of yours. And I think it's testament to what we can expect for the rest of the year. And I think I uh, would be very proud to have you as our mayor for this year. And thank you. Thank you. All right. So now we got turn to item, uh, agenda item nine, election of the deputy mayor. I call for nominations for the position of deputy mayor for 2018-2019. Madam Mayor, I'd like to nominate Councillor Tsen for the position of Deputy Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Zephyropoulos. Do I have a seconder? I'll second that. Thank you, Councillor Jeff. Do I have any other nominations? There being no other nominations, it is my pleasure to declare Councillor Anna Chen duly elected as the Deputy Mayor of 2018 and 19. Thank you. Thank you. Um, agenda item number 10, um, council representation on committees and external bodies and organisations. I call for a mover and a seconder for the appointment of councillors to committees and external bodies and organisations. Do I have a mover? Thank you, Councillor McLeish. Madam Mayor, I move that Council A endorse the appointed appointment of councillors to committees and external bodies and organisations in accordance with the attached schedules and B, appoint the following councillors as chairperson for 2018-19. The Open Space and Streetscape Design Advisory Committee, Councillor Zafiropoulos. The Sustainable Design Task Force, Councillor Haynes. Thank you, Councillor McLeish. Do I have a seconder? 
I second that. Thank you, Councillor Kleinert. I will put the motion. All those in favour? All those against? The motion is carried. And the final agenda item is the closing of the meeting. I have a question, Madam Mayor. Oh, you do? Yes. Yes. Um, Madam Mayor, does that mean that Mr Stephen Main is now Mayor S? Stephen Main? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <coughs> yes, well, we'll have to workshop that. Yeah. I'll take that on notice. <laughs> All right, so um, now to the closing of the meeting. There's no further business at tonight's, on, on tonight's agenda. Therefore, I declare the meeting closed. I'd like to invite you all uh, to, uh, in the gallery to join councillors for refreshments upstairs in function room one.